Okay, so what we're going to look at now is the motor principle, but some examples. Uh, so from the downloaded sheet that you have, what we're going to look at is, um, as, you know, we're going to look at some different things. So in the first one, I want to figure out which way the force is going. So you can write these ones in. So in order to figure out which way the force is going, you would need to know in north and the south. So I'm randomly picking these. Um, and I'm going to say the current is coming out of the page. For another question over here, I'm going to say I want to also know. Um, so this one, I'm trying to figure out what the force is. In this one, I'm going to try and figure out which direction the force is acting. If this is south and this is north and it's coming out of the page. In the next one down, so you're just writing these into your sheet. I know which way the current's going. I know the direction of the force. And so I want to know what the poles of the magnet are, of the external magnet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. In this next one, I know the poles of the magnet, the external magnetic field. And I know which direction the force is going, like so. And so what I'm trying to do now is figure out what direction the current is in. And for the last one, um, I know that this is south, and I know that the force is in this direction. So in this case, I'm trying to find out what, what the directionality of the current is and the remaining pole that is missing. So start with the first one. Now, you can use the right-hand rule, which um, we can do, or we can try and solve this by looking at a drawing. So right-hand rule says point in the direction of the magnetic field. Well, the magnetic field is going north to south. So my fingers will be pointing in the direction from north to south, so in this direction, right? And then my palm, my sorry, my thumb would point down, or sorry, up, because the current is coming out of the page. And so if you think about the orientation of your hand in that situation, then if your thumb is pointing up and your fingers are pointing to the right, your palm is pointing up. So that means that we know that the force must be up in this direction. And it's been solved using the right-hand rule. Now, if you wanted to figure out why, you might say, okay, well, let's look at the field produced by the current carrying conductor using the Orsted's principle. Thumb is out, curl your fingers around, it's going in that direction. Okay, that might be fine. Now let's look at the external field. It's going from north to south in that direction, north to south in this direction, and therefore here the fields are the same, so it's repulsive, and here they're opposite, attracted, so it's pulling it up perpendicularly, and that's the direction of the force. Okay, for this next one, north to south is going in this direction. The um, Your thumb is pointing up, so if you use your right hand and you point your fingers from north to south, so your, finger, your fingertips are at the south and your palm is at the north, your thumb is pointing up because it's out of the page, then the, your force is pointing, and I think you have figured it out, your force is pointing in the perpendicular direction, in this direction here. Now that was a very, very bad arrow. I did not like that one at all. And there we go. Okay. Now, if you wanted to sketch it, again, some people really just enjoy doing the sketches just to make sure they understand the actual principle that's at play. And it's just Orsted's principle and the basic laws of magnets. So here, that's going like that. It's going like that based on the right-hand rule. And then the magnetic field is going from north to to south, outside. Remember, inside is going south to north, but outside is going north to south. So there we go. And we have that. And we have that. So here the fields are the same, so it's repulsive. Here they're the opposite, so it's attractive, so the force is perpendicular in that direction. Okay, let's take a look here. So we've got um, the conductors going this way. Now this one, you know, you can just use your right-hand rule just to figure it out pretty quick that if you're if there's an x that means the current's going into the page so that you point your thumb down and if you point your thumb down with your fingers pointing out in, in either the left or right direction 
you'll find out quickly that your finger has to point, your fingers have to point in this direction here. Otherwise, the force will not be down in this direction. So my fingers have to point in this direction, but they always point from north to south. So again, if you want to check it, you would say, okay, X counterclockwise. So in this case, sorry, it's clockwise because your um, thumb is pointing down. So you curl your fingers in the clockwise direction. And so we're just checking to see if our answer makes sense. And then it's north to south outside. And you can already tell it's correct. Repulsive, attractive, pulls down. Okay, so we were correct up there, correct here, correct there. Next one. We got north, south, forces in that direction. Use a right hand rule. Our fingers, our palm is at north, we point towards south. And since our palm has to be facing outward, then this has to be a dot. And we just want to check to make sure that's correct. So we switch and we look at this here. We say, okay, let's draw one of these here. Now wrap our fingers or thumb points up. Right hand rule says it's doing that. Grab the external magnetic field here. So it is out and around. Remember the magnetic field lines cannot cross. So let's go in that direction, that direction. And so here they're uh, opposite. Wait, let me just double check this here. I might have got it backwards. So here it goes like that. And let me see. And then there it does that. So here it's attractive, there it's repulsive. So did I get this correct? I absolutely did not. So I did my right hand rule incorrectly for that. Okay. So that's easy to check. And so that's, you know, sometimes making those little mistakes is a good way to, to think about it. So we now figured out by doing that, that that was not correct. Cause I actually just did the right hand rule back uh, incorrectly. And so this should have been an X. So if my fingers were going north to south and I have to go into the page, my thumb has to go into the page in order for the force to be pointing outward. And so we were able to check that by drawing it out. Again, that's the right hand rule, the first one we learned. And then we can sketch out the next one. And again, you don't have to do these sketches. If you've already figured out how to use the rule, you can skip this part of it, right? So here they're attracting, here the repulsive and boom, shifts that way. Last one, tricky, tricky. Look at this, poles, that's south. This is clearly south, right? No, we know that's not true. So we can't have that. So we know this is north. And then fingers go north to south, palm is out, which means that the only way that's true is if my thumb is pointing downward. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And if you need to check, you draw these. Now you're not switching probably colors, although it's a good idea to switch colors, so it won't take you as long to draw these. Attractive, repulsive, down, done, done. Awesome. <laughs>